Hola Avatar. Today we're talking about huge financial news and other news this earnings season. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, saw their shares plummet to about $100 today. Mark Zuckerberg has lost $100 billion, going from the third richest to the 23rd richest person in the world. Credit Suisse and Amazon both saw their shares drop about 20% today. CNBC reported that the savings rate of the general population of the United States is down 90%. A Twitter account ca called the Bowtide Bull says massive layoffs are coming to Wall Street in quarter four. Adidas canceled Kanye and Republicans who sampled the communist school aid aren't sure what to say. Let's talk about, about the news for a minute. One thing to note is the Bernie Bros, who seem to dominate the financial independence retire early movement, aggressively push index funds. Index funds feed cash into stocks that you don't want to buy. When did, when did stock picking become evil? Unfortunately, conditioning the masses into buying index funds isn't going to make everyone's results equal. Also, hedge funds and private equity firms play by a different set of rules. So make hedge fund managers' results equal to yours. Back to Meta. I suspect virtual reality is going to happen, although there is opposition to more time being spent on the internet, and there is also opposition to Mark Zuckerberg controlling virtual reality. But other entrepreneurs can com compete with Meta. Inflation has shrunk the savings rate of U.S. households by 90%. The, Bi the Biden administration wants to raise wages to combat inflation. Since the early 1990s, academics and the predecessors of the woke mob have required conservatives in their clutches to refrain from talking about tax cuts and downsizing D.C., the sheep will mostly obey, but I think refusing to fund conservative ink and rhino politicians and telling all levels of the Democratic Party that tax cuts and the reopening of the Keystone Pipeline are the things to do to combat inflation. An item for rhinos not to do is not to try to intimidate or belittle conservatives for shitposting on social media. I know this makes statists whose state is failing feel because their social su supremacy is all they got for sampling the globalist feminist Kool-Aid. The people who cried when asked to watch the InfoWars documentary Endgame and Mike Judge's movie Idiocracy are trying to suck up to the elites through their useless congressman after Kanye West's clothing line was canceled by Adidas. Michael Savage who is counseled by churches and gay pressure groups, told his audience to watch Endgame back in 2007. Does this constitute an anti-Semitisms? Who should I report this to? Have a great night, Avatar.